Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on Yama and Niyama. As I've announced, I will be releasing a series of asana classes that are going to be based on each of the Yama and Niyama. And before we move into that, I really want to provide you with a overview of what they are and where they're from, just to better guide you uh, through what is to come next. And so the Yamas and Niyamas essentially are a set of commandments, of ethical principles that are the foundational stones of yoga practice. Patanjali, he is considered the founding father of yoga as we know it today because he was the first to put into writing um, these ethical rules, if you will, of the yoga practice. He lived approximately 200 years before Christ and in Sanskrit, which is the oldest form of writing known to man, he wrote 196 sutras. And the sutras are very short sentences that are intended to convey a very powerful meaning. For example, the first sutra in his book is Atta Yoga Anushasanam, which means the discipline of the now. And Patanjali describes the yoga practice as an eight-limbed approach. Eight-limbed in Sanskrit is translated as Ashtanga. So for those of you that have heard about the Ashtanga Vinyasa series, that's what the word Ashtanga means. Yama and Niyama are the first two of the eight limbs of the yoga practice. And as I've mentioned before, they are the ethical principles that any yoga practitioner should know and aspire to emulate in daily life. And uh, I promise you that that is much more easier said <laughs> than done, okay? So it's a life's practice. And that is one of the beautiful things about yoga. And the ultimate goal of yoga is really to calm and clean the mind, create balance, and ultimately, discover our true nature, okay? To free ourselves from suffering by discovering who we are, which is boundless, limitless, timeless, infinite, one, okay? And so through these yama and niyama, we thrive daily as yoga practitioners to attain that. So there's five precepts for yama, which are restraints, okay? And there's five precepts for niyama, which are more like observances or rules, if you will. The five yama, just to give you a broad overview, are satya, which is truth, ahimsa, non-violence, ashteya, non-stealing, aparigraha, which is non-hoarding, brahmacharya, which is conserving our energy or celibacy in a more traditional sense of the practice. The five niyama are saucha, which is cleanliness, santosha, contentment, the tapas, which refer to self-discipline, svayaya, which is self-study, studying yourself, and finally Ishvara Pranidhana, which is surrendering to God. Okay, so these are really foundational principles that should be in any spiritual practice and just with this quick overview you might notice that they make absolute sense. So we're going to start with the first yama in our first class and we're going to move our way 
uh, forward. And uh, in each of the classes, I'm going to go into more depth. I'm going to do like an intro on what exactly the yama or niyama is. We're going to discuss it. And uh, there, I'm going to have a special class built around that yama and niyama. So I'm really looking forward to share that with you. And I, I hope uh, you will enjoy it as much as I did preparing this for you. Uh, from now until then, keep on practicing. I'm sending lots of energy and love your way. Namaste.